Today I'm going to be comparing different types of store-bought bedding you can use for your small animals. Um, I have three examples of bedding here that I'm going to go over. Um, I have KT Clean and Cozy, some Aspen Wood Shavings, and Care Fresh Natural. First I'm going to start off by telling you about a few different types of beddings I don't have here and some of the pros and cons of those beddings. First, there are two types of wood bedding that you should never use. Um, you shouldn't use pine or cedar. Um, I know I did use pine a little bit in the past, but I used it for a very short amount of time. Um, the reason you shouldn't use these is because they can have some fumes in them that can actually be harmful to your hamster or other small animal, and they can cause respiratory issues over time. Um, another bedding that's halfway popular is eco bedding. Um, I've never used this before, but it's like a crumpled up paper. So if you've used it, make sure to leave a comment down below and let everyone know how that worked out for you. Um, KT also has another type of bedding called soft granules. While the type that is regular over here, the natural stuff, is safe, although I've never used it, um, if you're going to use it, make sure you don't get the scented stuff. While it smells good and can give your tank a nice look, um, once again, these fumes can be a little upsetting to your hamster and can cause long-term respiratory problems. Um, one type of bedding that I have just recently started seeing, I'm not sure if it's been around for a long time, is Sunseed Fresh World. Um, I've actually never tried this out, but my roommate did try it and she had really good luck with it. Um, it did really good at controlling odor, so you might want to go check that out. The last thing I want to talk about before I show you the beddings I have here is Cotton Fluff. Um, you know in my last videos that Cupcake did used to use this because he loved it. Um, but I have stopped using it because I found out it can be harmful. Um, if they try to put it in their cheeks, it can actually, the cotton can get stuck in their cheeks and their throat and it can actually kill them. So make sure to stay away from cotton bedding. Um, if you're looking for nesting material, I will show you something later in this video. So now let's go ahead and look at the beddings I have here for you. The first bedding I have here to show you today is Carefresh Natural. Now Carefresh does make some other beddings. Um, you can use Carefresh Ultra, which is a little bit more expensive, or Carefresh Colors. The only Carefresh you should not use is Carefresh Basics. Um, what this is, it's a mixture of this Carefresh Natural and some wood chips, but they actually use softwood, which is bad for your animals like cedar and pine. So stay away from the Carefresh Basic. Um, but the pros of the Carefresh Natural is it's the best I found in odor control. Um, when I have this, I do some spot cleaning, but I don't have to clean my cage fully near as often. So although it may have a higher price tag, um, you will save a little bit of that money not having to clean your cage quite as often. Um, this is good for all types of small animals. It's like a recycled paper. Um, after I show you all the packagings and everything, I will have samples out for you guys to see. Now a couple downfalls of this. Um, the main one for me and a lot of people is the price. This is pretty pricey bedding. Um, right here I have the, it expands to 60 liters. As you can see it was actually only $17 at one of my local pet stores, which is about as cheap as you can find it. Um, I know a bag this size at PetSmart I believe is around like $25 or so. And if you want the Carefresh Colors or the Carefresh um, Ultra, you're going to be spending a lot more. So that is definitely a downfall of this bedding. Second problem that a lot of people complain about and I don't have any problem with is the dust. Um, a lot of people say this bedding is really dusty, although I've never seen it. And like I said, I will get a sample out in a minute to show you that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the KT Clean and Cozy. Here is the Clean and Cozy by KT. Um, this is, once again, it's supposed to be really good in odor protection, um, but I would have to say it's not the best. I found that my cages got um, odor odorous a lot faster with this than they do with Carefresh. Um, I did try this out because it was on sale at PetSmart for like $15. So it's a 55.7 liters. So although the bag doesn't look very big, this stuff expands like crazy. Um, it is pretty dust free. So if you're looking for that, and this is the softest bedding I've tried. If your animal loves to burrow, um, this is really super soft. So now I'll go ahead and show you Aspen. And then I'll go and I'll get samples out and look at all three of them together. So here is the bag of Aspen wood shavings I have. Um, there are tons of different brands of this. The one I have here is Great Choice from PetSmart. A lot of people say that this isn't the best because it's pretty dusty. Um, but I don't think it's that bad. I haven't had any problems with it yet. 
The main advantage of aspen wood shavings, of course, is it's the only type of wood that is safe for your animal, and it's really cheap. Um, this is a pretty small bag just because I wanted to try it out. It's 500 cubic inches, but it cost me like $4 at PetSmart. So this definitely is the cheapest bedding, safest, cheapest store-bought bedding for your animals. Um, a downfall of this is it's not that soft, so if you're looking for a nesting material, you probably want to stay away from this. Now I want to go ahead and get a sample of all these out and show you the differences of them. So here are the three types of bedding. Um, over here on the left is the Carefresh, this is the KT Clean and Cozy, and the Aspen Wood Shavings are over here. Now comparing all of these, um, as far as what bedding I recommend, it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a budget bedding, um, I would definitely recommend the Aspen. As you can tell, it isn't very soft. So if you're looking for something soft for your hamster, it's not the best. But it is very affordable, so if you're on a budget, um, definitely go with that. Now if you're looking for a really awesome nesting material, if your animal loves to burrow, um, the clay KT Clean and Cozy is probably your best choice out of these three. This is just super soft little shreds of paper, and it expands like crazy. Um, Kratos, my dwarf hamster, loves to burrow so I always give him some of this now because it is his favorite to burrow in. Now if you're looking for overall the best odor protection um, I would have to go with the Carefresh Natural on this one. Um, it is pretty soft. It would, I would put it right between KT and Aspen on how soft it is. Um, it does fluff up pretty well so they still get a good, good burrowing amount in there but it covers odor very well so it really just depends on what you're looking for. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with any three of these beddings. Um, as far as the other ones I mentioned in the beginning, um, I don't really have experience with those, but if you do, once again, leave a comment down below so people looking for beddings can have some more opinions. Um, that is it for this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my future ones. And if you have any video requests, make sure to leave a comment down below, and I will get to those soon.